What's up guys? Welcome back to The Merge, the wrestling guide for jiu-jitsu, powered by Fuji Sports. Today is The Merge's one year anniversary, episode 52. I got a special guest on today's show, Nogi World Champion and co-founder of Grip Tape, Gianni Grippo. Today Gianni is going to show us a couple options when his opponent has him in a single leg and he locks up the Kimura Trap. What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple details from the Kimura Trap, starting from a single leg position. So from here, Mike is going to be shooting a single leg on me here. Let's say we end up in a position where I'm sprawling. I end up on my on one knee here. He's ending up on both knees. We're going to look at two different situations on which way we're going to go when we start looking for the Kimura Trap. So for me, I'm not very good with takedowns myself, so I feel like I'm a very counter guy when it comes to starting from my feet. So for me, a lot of times I'm looking for the Kimura Trap from here off of someone's takedown attempt. So for me, um, what I'm always looking to do is his arm that's furthest from me, the one that's not wrapped around, I'm going to be reaching for his wrist here. And my opposite arm is just going to be reaching around and just looking for a Kimura right here. Um, for the guy on bottom, it's always best for him to keep his elbow in as tight as he can. So sometimes I might have to roll forward to find it, which we'll look at in the next option. But no matter where his elbow is, you will have the ability to find that Kimura. Sometimes you have to lean a little bit further over to find it. Sometimes you won't have to. But either way, sometimes you just kind of kind of hunt for it a little bit from here. Once I'm here, a detail is that I like to use my thumb. I feel like I have a little bit more control of the wrist when I use my thumb from here. Some people go no thumb, but for me, I'm always using my thumb to control the wrist. Now our first option is the most common option where I'm just going to start sitting to my butt and looking to pull his arm towards me, which is going to pull his whole body. I'm just pulling myself down to the mat. So I'm bringing my back to the mat from here keeping the same control and just lifting up his hands from here. Now what I'm going to be looking to do is two things at once. I want to kick and pull at the same time. If you just try to do one, if I just try to kick without pulling, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to break the grip and obviously vice versa. You know, this grip can be very strong right here. So I just want to make sure that we do both at the same time. I'm kicking straight down or straight out. I'm just going to pull my hands towards me. Sometimes it's not going to happen the first try. So sometimes you got to kind of work for it until you can eventually break from here. Now there's a couple different things that can happen once you get to this Kimura trap. Either one, he can stay in this spot because he knows we can look for the back. So what I like to do is I like to pin his hand and his wrist to his chest and I'm just gonna walk my legs out. And you see, I start coming up on top by scissoring my legs, coming up to my knees. We can find Kimuras, we can eventually find the back as well. You can find the side. We have a lot of different options from that spot. But mainly what happens from here is a lot of times, let's just turn just a little bit, our partner is going to turn away from me here, or excuse me, turn towards me. And when he does that, I'm going to wait for him to start bringing his back up off the mat or his side up off the mat. And what I want to do is my right knee is going to slide underneath his hip or underneath his rib, and I can start looking to take the back from there. So he's going to start turning towards me, and I'm just going to slide my right knee under his hip or right by his hip from here. And now I can follow with my left leg. When we're here, the key is to make sure that I'm not going to stay on this side. If I stay on this side, it's going to be impossible for me to get that second hook. So what I'm going to look to do is I'm just going to pull all the way to my right. I can get the second hook. And with the same control that I have the whole time, I'm just going to pull my elbow back, my left elbow back and I can find the seatbelt. I don't even have to let go of that Kimura. So I'm keeping this grip from start to finish. So our second option looking for the Kimura trap from the single leg is to look to roll forward instead of falling back like we were before. So there's two reasons why we would want to roll forward instead of back. Say one, sometimes he's keeping his hands tucked behind because he knows that he wants to avoid that Kimura trap from there. So sometimes you have to roll forward to be able to find his arm. Now, another reason is because even if you do get the Kimura from here, Sometimes if we try to pull back, he's going to fight that direction. He's going to try to push back towards his right in this case. If he does that, we could take his weight that he's giving us, and it actually makes it easier for us to just roll forward. So I don't have to use my own weight to get him to come with me. He's actually kind of leading me that way. So even if you get the Kimura, you're starting to fall back, but he's pushing back the other way. It just makes it easier for us to just roll over your right shoulder, and we end up in the exact same spot that we were before. So you can either fall back, or come forward. And from here, same thing as before, guys. I'm looking to kick my leg out and pull my hands towards me at the same time. If you just do one or the other, he can still maintain a strong grip. So I always want to make sure I do both at the same time. I'm breaking that control that he has right there. Now I'm looking to pin his arm to his chest 
or <laughs> pinning his hand to his chest from here, and he's gonna start turning towards me. From here, my right knee slides in, right when his back comes up off the mat, and now I can start bringing my left hook in over here. Now to make sure I get that right hook, I'm gonna start falling all the way to my left, and then exposing the right leg, I can come back with that second hook. Just like before, we don't have to let go of this control to get the seatbelt. I can simply just lift his arm up and scoop around here, keeping that same control of his arm and also being able to get the seatbelt at the same time. Thanks for tuning in this week, guys. If you haven't tried Grip Tape yet, head over to griptape.com. It's athletic tape for combat sports. I use it all the time. I highly recommend it. For more episodes, check out themergeonline.com. Follow us on social media, and I'll see you guys next Friday.